Hi everybody, I'm Devin Hurd, very pleased to be here at Carter's Spatial Data Science Conference. I represent AWS and the AWS Marketplace. Specifically, we're on the global lead for geolocation and geospatial data at the AWS Data Exchange. I'm very proud to represent AWS, which is probably the most broadly adopted cloud platform in the world. And it's really hard to say we do any one specific thing across geospatial because our infrastructure is really the base layer for a number of geospatial workloads, applications, and use cases. What I'm most excited about is our marketplace, and specifically the data exchange, where we work with a network of geospatial and geolocation data providers, as well as software vendors like, Vin, like, like Carto and others, to really bridge the gap between their offerings and AWS customers. Essentially, the marketplace is a streamlined procurement mechanism where end users can go search and discover for geospatial data products or highly specialized software like Carto and easily transact with their vendors, procure their software and data requirements through Marketplace. Of course, one of the big benefits with AWS is we have a really deep bench of expertise, whether they're solutions architects, uh, specialist resources that are working at the very forefront of industries. Uh, so part of our value to providers and partners like Carto is our ability to help them reach the broad base of AWS customers. Broadly speaking, you know, the cloud presents tremendous opportunities for the geospatial data science community. I think if we look at technologies like Redshift, which have native capabilities to store and analyze geospatial data, you begin to see the benefits and the advantages of scalability, cost effectiveness, but I think the big opportunity on the horizon is interoperability. At the end of the day, you know, we have an opportunity as the marketplace to onboard more of these data vendors um, to advocate for formats and standards like GeoParquet that are really going to usher in a, sort of this next wave of innovation, scale, and interoperability. And I think the use cases that we're seeing already today are very compelling. Many customers are building on top of AWS, powering their solutions, solving complicated challenges, analyzing data at great scale, and AWS is committed to that vision. We're one of a community of cloud vendors, shall I say, and I think it's important that Carto makes the right decisions and the right investments and how they want to work with their partners to reach their customers. I'm very confident standing here to today saying that AWS is committed to growing our marketplace, to making investments with our partners, and ultimately we see our partners as the vector or the avenue to growth. You know, we know many customers come to AWS because of our infrastructure, our cost effectiveness, scalability, all of these themes, but we don't do what Carto does. You know, and I think it's my job, and it's certainly the teams that I work with job, to go out and identify who are the customers that are leaning into AWS, that are building on top of AWS, that would benefit from geospatial technologies. And at that point, we're more than happy to introduce Carter to those customers to facilitate a co-sell motion, and to ultimately help benefit our customers at the end of the day. And I think that's really what we're doing, uh, I would say, at a scale that maybe our competitors aren't because AWS is the most broadly adopted cloud platform today.